The implications of the scientific evidence, coupled with Meyer's logic, are profound. If we are finding information inside every cell and every living creature, could that not be, in a sense, the signature of a creator? Thirty centuries before science unlocked the mysteries of genetic information, or a telescope probed billions of light years into space, the Hebrew shepherd and poet David wrote eloquently of a creator who revealed his existence and power through all that he had made. The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. Day after day, they pour forth speech. Night after night, they proclaim knowledge. Their voice goes out into all the earth, their words to the end of the world. God himself is invisible. He is a spirit. And yet, one of the purposes he has for us is to find him so we can know him. And he's left behind a series of clues. And sometimes we just have to kind of take our blinders off and get beyond our presuppositions and say, wait a minute, I am going to pursue the evidence of science wherever it points. And if it takes me to a very uncomfortable conclusion that there is a creator, then if the evidence points in that direction, that's the way I'm going to go. According to a lot of the mainstream media, the theory of intelligent design is a faith-based idea. And in saying that, they want to dismiss it as something that has no basis in science. But the media has confused a fundamental issue. They're confusing the evidence for the theory with the implications of the theory. The theory of intelligent design may well have implications that are supportive of theistic belief, but the theory is not based on theistic belief. It's based on the discovery of digital code in cells, miniature machines in cells, the fine-tuning of the laws of physics and chemistry, and standard ways of scientific reasoning about the remote past in the history of life. Forty years ago, a lecture in a high school biology class convinced an inquisitive 14-year-old freshman that there was no God. Ironically, years later, it was an open-minded investigation of scientific evidence that led Lee Strobel to belief in a creator. One of the most interesting things I've learned as I've gone on this journey of scientific discovery has been that you don't have to commit intellectual suicide to come to the conclusion that there is an intelligent designer. Because today, science is pointing more directly and more powerfully toward a creator than any other time in the history of the world. I was trained in journalism and law to respond to truth. I had to take a step of faith in the same direction that that evidence is flowing, which is logical and rational. We do that every day of our life. We make steps of faith based on the evidence that we perceive. And so it was the most logical and rational step I've ever taken to put my faith in the creator that science tells me exists.